Thank you for checking out this little teaser of the history of the papacy and church. Here's a little taste of what's coming up soon on the History of the Papacy podcast. Now, if you like what you hear, I'd love it if you'd leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or your podcatcher of choice. If you want to support the podcast even more, consider becoming a Patreon on patreon.com forward slash history of the papacy. There are many levels and benefits for you and you help keep the history of the papacy going. You can learn more about all of this at historyofthepapacypodcast.com. With that, here's another piece of the mosaic of the Popes of Rome and Christian Church, and I will definitely be talking to you more soon. Saxons established many small kingdoms throughout their area, and some they joined together, they split apart, but there was essentially the the big seven, Northumbria, East Anglia, which was kind of in the east, Essex, Kent, Sussex, Wessex, and Mercia. What was the situation and background of those different powers? Yeah, well, as as we saw in the excerpt from the anglo-saxon chronicle the chroniclers wanted to make this really simple and they so they said okay the people of angeln which is in extreme northern germany slash southern denmark angeln it's still a place name today but the people of angeln were the angles and they came over and established east anglia and northumbria and and then the saxons which is a little bit deeper into germany they came over and founded essex which essex is just east Saxony or the kingdom of the East Saxon. Sussex is South Saxony and Wessex is West Saxony. And then they said that the Jutes, the Jutes came from modern day Denmark. Uh, Some people don't even believe that there were Jutes. I've heard all kinds of interesting discussions on that. But for the most part, um, there is a place called Jutland. We know that it was a famous battle in World War One. So there probably were a few people, tribes that called themselves Jute. And they supposedly established Kent and the island of White and Mercia. But uh, I may have those mixed up a little there. But it's obviously that's that's a very clean and simple version of history where just one entire tribe packs up and moves and resettles themselves in another place. And history almost never works out like that.